Hi there, Laura here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a sliding easel card, like the ones you are seeing right now. Start with two A6 pieces of white cardstock. Take a ruler and pencil. Take one of the two rectangles, which will be the front of the card. Measure 2 cm all around and trace like a frame. Then using a craft knife, trim, leaving the top connected. Match the front of the card with patterned paper. Here's a little trick for matting the card. So add double sided tape on the 2 cm frame only. This way you can cut the aperture easily and keep the sliding flap wide. Turn your card around, fold the flap and use your craft knife to trim the paper, creating the aperture. Score the sliding flap in half. Fold and burnish. Cut a strip of white cardstock the same width as the flap. and glue them together, creating the sliding mechanism. Add foam tape on the back, but make sure you leave the top side free. Fix it to the other piece of white cardstock. And match the flap with uh, the desired paper. For creating the topper, I used die cutting essentials issue 43 card making magic die gift. Die cut the jar twice from holographic card. Before die cutting the jars, I added adhesive sheet on the back to make the next step easier. Stick it to a piece of acetate paper and fussy cut it.
die cut the jar cap. Die cut a few candies from very colorful paper. As the jar will be transparent, I decided to layer the candies. Add a strip of foam tape on the back of the jar. Position the candies in the center. And affix the two sides together. Adhere the cap on the jar and embellish. I added a tiny bow made out of ribbon. Add a sentiment and add double sided tape or foam tape on the back matching the positioning of the sentiment from the front. This way you will not see the tape that will adhere the topper to the card. Add a few extra candies on the bottom side. Finish by adding a small circle to the top of the flap, making it easier to pull. Hope you like this tutorial and you'll give it a go. Thanks so much for joining me for another tutorial. If you want to be notified about my future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you here again soon. Happy crafting!